Hello! Today, we're diving into an alternate history where the space race was a collaborative effort right from the beginning. Imagine a world where nations worked together to explore the cosmos. What could this have meant for space travel? Let's embark on this exciting hypothetical journey. By the early 1970s, the international community came together to establish a permanent moon base. Astronauts from different nations worked side by side, conducting groundbreaking research and experiments. This lunar base served as a stepping stone for further exploration of the solar system. In the 1980s, with the combined expertise and resources of multiple nations, we witnessed the first crewed missions to Mars. These missions paved the way for future colonization efforts and gave us a deeper understanding of our neighboring planet. In this alternate history, multiple space stations were constructed, serving as hubs for scientific research and as platforms for launching missions deeper into space. Cooperation in space was the norm, and the possibilities seemed endless. By the 1990s, the collaborative spirit was in full swing. The development of advanced interplanetary transport had become a top priority. Massive spacecrafts capable of transporting hundreds of people to distant planets like Jupiter and Saturn were constructed. By the early 21st century, international efforts led to the establishment of asteroid mining operations. These operations provided an abundant resource of raw materials for spacecraft construction, revolutionizing our ability to explore the outer reaches of our solar system and beyond. In our collaborative timeline, multiple space agencies joined forces to launch a network of deep space telescopes. These telescopes allowed us to peer into the furthest corners of our universe, unveiling mysteries we can only dream of today. They made discoveries about distant galaxies, exoplanets, and cosmic phenomena that redefined our understanding of the cosmos. The innovative spirit of this alternate history led to the construction of space elevators, making travel between Earth and space more affordable and efficient than ever before. These colossal structures stretched from our planet's surface into orbit, becoming gateways into the stars. As the 22nd century dawned, the collaborative efforts of our nations allowed us to send the first interstellar probes towards the neighboring star systems. These missions aimed to explore exoplanets and search for signs of extraterrestrial life, sparking our imagination and propelling humanity's quest for knowledge beyond our solar system. In reality, the space race was marked by intense competition between the United States and the Soviet Union during the Cold War. These two superpowers were locked in a race to be the first to achieve significant milestones in space exploration. On July 20th, 1969, the United States achieved a historic victory in the space race when NASA's Apollo 11 mission successfully landed astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin on the moon. Armstrong's famous words, that's one small step for man and one giant leap for mankind, echoed around the world. While the US won the race to the moon, we must acknowledge the Soviet Union's significant achievements, including launching the first artificial satellite, Sputnik, and sending the first human, Yuri Gangarin, into space. After the Apollo 11 missions, the United States introduced the Space Shuttle Program, marking a new era of space exploration. The shuttles played a crucial role in building and servicing the ISS, contributing to our understanding of long-duration space flight. The space race reached its conclusion with the fall of the Soviet Union. While the U.S. had achieved the milestone of landing on the moon, the collaborative spirit we've explored into our alternate history eventually emerged in the form of international partnerships, symbolized in the construction and operation of our international space station, the ISS. Furthermore, the legacy of the space race has paved the way for private companies like SpaceX, Blue Origin, and others to enter the space exploration arena. These companies are making space more accessible to humanity, and driving innovation in ways we never could have imagined during the original space race. As we consider the potential of civilizations in space, whether in our alternate history or the real timeline, we recognize that the challenges and innovations of space exploration have provided valuable insights. These insights have the potential to shape the way we address global issues and strive for greater cooperation and sustainability on Earth. Looking ahead, the legacy of space exploration continues to inspire discussions about the eventual colonization of other celestial bodies. Whether through international collaboration, private ventures, or both, the dream of establishing civilizations beyond the Earth remains alive, promising exciting possibilities for the future of humanity. In both our hypothetical and real histories, the concept of creating civilizations in space has captured our imaginations. It reminds us that our destiny is not only on Earth, but among the stars. As we continue to explore and push the boundaries of our cosmic frontiers, we may one day witness the emergence of civilizations beyond our home planet. 
Thank you for joining us on this comprehensive journey through an alternate history of space exploration, the real space race, and the tantalizing prospects of future space civilizations. If you found this video inspiring, please like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, stay curious. Until next time.